how to get what you want without fail. What is the real secret of obtaining desirable possessions and complete success? The answer is generally, if you know what you want, you can have it. Now, you Brownbaggers will remember the Little It Works book by R.H.J. and its standard material for all you BBs, and I hope you have all read it over and over again. For it presents a concise, definite, resultful plan with rules, explanations, and suggestions for bettering your conditions in life. Now, we want to take about 5% of this total album and let yourself be reminded and re-inspired by listening to the condensation and elaboration and further embellishment of this little idea in this fine little book. To have it on this record so you can adopt this plan as normal procedure in your daily life, for truly it does work. Now, are some people born under a lucky star or other charm which enables them to have all that which seems so desirable? And if not, what is the cause of the difference in conditions under which men live? From a scientific, psychological, or theological viewpoint, some of the following statements may be interpreted as incorrect, but nevertheless, the plan has brought the results desired to those who have followed the simple instructions. You know, as the little book says, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. And this is the attitude taken by the average man and woman in regard to possessions. They are not aware of a power so near that it is overlooked, so simple in operation that it is difficult to conceive, and so sure in result that it is not made use of consciously or recognized as the cause of failure or the cause of success. Gee, I wish that were mine, is the outburst of Jimmy the office boy as a new red roadster goes by. And Florence, the telephone operator, expresses the same thought regarding a ring in the jeweler's window. While poor old Jones, the bookkeeper, during the Sunday stroll, replies to his wife, Yes, dear, it would be nice to have a home like that, but it is out of the question. We will have to continue to rent. And Landon, the salesman, protests that he does all the work, gets the short end of the money, and will someday quit his job and find a real one. And President Bondum, in his private sanctorium, voices a bitter tirade against the annual attack of hay fever. At home it is much the same. Last evening, Father declared that daughter Mabel was headed straight for disaster, and today, mother's allowance problems and other trying affairs fade into insignificance as she exclaims, This is the last straw. Robert's school teacher wants to see me this afternoon. His reports are terrible, I know, but I'm late for bridge now. She'll have to wait until tomorrow. So goes the endless stream of expressions like these from millions of people in all classes who give no thought to what they really want and who are getting all they are entitled to or can expect. Now, if you are one of these millions of thoughtless talkers or wishers and would like a decided change from your present condition, you can have it. But first of all, you must know what you want, and this is no easy task. When you can train your objective mind, that's the mind you use every day, your educated mind, to decide definitely upon the things or conditions you desire, you will have taken your first big step in accomplishing or securing what you know you want. To get what you want is no more mysterious or uncertain than the radio waves all around you. Tune in correctly and you get a perfect result. But to do this, it is, of course, necessary to know something of your equipment and have a plan of operation. You have within you a mighty power, anxious and willing to serve you, a power capable of giving you that which you earnestly desire. This power is described by Thomas J. Hudson, Ph.D., LLD, author of The Law of Psychic Phenomena, 
as your subjective mind. It is described by us in our research foundation school as innate. This is the term we find best to fit the chiropractic needs. Other learned writers use different names and terms, but all agree that it is omnipotent. Innate within it, we call it. Actually, simply, this is God in us. Regardless of the name of this great power or the conscious admission of a God, the power is capable and willing to carry to a complete and perfect conclusion every earnest desire of your objective mind, but you must be really in earnest about what you want. Occasional wishing or half-hearted wanting does not form a perfect connection or communication with your omnipotent power. You must be in earnest, sincerely and truthfully, desiring certain conditions or things, mental, physical, or spiritual. Your objective mind and will are so vacillating that you usually only wish for things, and the wonderful, capable power within you does not function. Most wishes are simply vocal expressions. Jimmy the office boy gave no real thought of possessing the Red Roadster. Landon the salesman was not thinking of any other job or even thinking at all. President Bondham knew he had hay fever and was expecting it. Father's business was quite likely successful, and Mother no doubt brought home first prize from the bridge party that day, but they had no fixed idea of what they really wanted their children to accomplish and were actually helping to bring about the unhappy conditions which existed. Now, brown beggars, if you are in earnest about changing your present conditions, enlarging your place, buying a new home, more furniture, more office equipment, building a clinic, all the other things that you grope to do as a result of the teachings of success, here is a concise, definite, resultful plan with rules, explanations, and suggestions. Listen to them over and over again. Write down on paper, in order of their importance, the things and conditions you really want. Do not be afraid of wanting too much. Go the limit in writing down your wants. Change the list daily, adding to or taking from it until you have it about right. Do not be discouraged on account of changes, as this is natural. There will always be changes and additions with accomplishments and increasing desires. Now, there are three positive rules of accomplishment. Number one, read the list of what you want three times each day, morning, noon, and night. Read it more if you have an opportunity. Number two, think of what you want as often as possible. Number three, do not talk to anyone about your plan except to the great power within you which will unfold to your objective mind, your educated mind, the method of accomplishment. Now, it is obvious that you cannot acquire faith at the start. Some of your desires from all practical reasoning may seem positively unattainable. But nevertheless, write them down on your list in their proper place of importance to you. Now, you will remember the infallible law of innate. Innate always carries out into your body or attracts to your life that which you give it from educated to innate. You can pass an idea from educated to innate or pass an ambition, desire, or love from educated to innate by action step, by realizing that nature will give you what you act like you already have. Just remember and have faith or knowledge in the truth that innate intelligence will always bring into your mission, talent, and destiny that which you have faith in, and you can have faith in that which is in harmony with God or the success of the universe. Now, there is no need to analyze how this power within you is going to accomplish your desires. 
Such a procedure is as unnecessary as trying to figure out why a grain of corn placed in fertile soil shoots up a green stalk, blossoms and produces an ear of corn containing hundreds of grains, each capable of doing what the one grain did. If you will follow this definite plan and carry out the three simple rules, the methods of accomplishment will unfold to your educated quite as mysteriously as the ear of corn appears on the stalk and in most cases much sooner than you expect. When new desires deserving position at or about the top of your list come to you, then you may rest assured you are progressing correctly. Removing from your list items which at first you thought you wanted is another sure indication of progress. It is natural to be skeptical and have doubts, distrust and questionings, but when these thoughts arise, get out your list. Read it over, or if you have it memorized, talk to your inner self, to your innate, about your desires until the doubts that interfere with your progress are gone. Have faith in innate. Have confidence in innate. Believe in innate. Know that innate is the infallible power within that will carry out the ambitions, the desires, the loves you give to it through action. Remember, nothing, simply nothing, can prevent your having that which you earnestly desire. Others have these things, why not you? The omnipotent power within you does not enter into any controversial argument. It is waiting and willing to serve when you are ready. But your objective mind is so susceptible to suggestion, that's the innate mind that's so susceptible to suggestion, that it is almost impossible to make any satisfactory progress when surrounded by skeptics. Therefore, choose your friends carefully and associate with people who now have some of the things you really want, but do not discuss your methods of accomplishment with them. Put down on your list of wants such material things as money, home, automobile, or whatever it may be, but do not stop there. Be more definite. If you want an automobile, decide what kind, style, price, color, size, and all the other details, including when you want it. If you want a home, plan the structure, grounds, and furnishings. Decide on location and cost. If you want money, write down the amount. If you want to break a record in your business, put it down. It may be a sales record. It may be a record of new patients. It may be a record of daily traffic flow. It may be a record of sufficient new patients and regular patients for a year's time to build a new clinic. If so, write out the total income, the total patients, the date required, then the number of total patients you'll have to have in a week, month, or a year to make this come true. Also, list and put after each name that you might have the sum expected. This may seem very foolish at first, but you can never realize your desires if you do not know positively and in detail what you want and when you want it. If you cannot decide this, you are really not in earnest. You must be definite, and when you are, results will be surprising and almost unbelievable. A natural and ancient enemy will no doubt appear when you get your first taste of accomplishment. This enemy is discredit in form of such thoughts as, it can't be possible, it just happened to be, what a remarkable coincidence, and that sort of thing. When such thoughts occur, give thanks and assert credit to your omnipotent power for the accomplishment. By doing this, you gain assurance and more accomplishment and in time prove to yourself that there is a law, that there is this innate, which actually works at all times when you are in tune with it. Sincere and earnest thanks cannot be given without gratitude, and it is impossible to be thankful and grateful without being happy. Therefore, when you are thinking your greatest and best friend, your omnipotent power within, your innate intelligence within you, for the gifts you receive, do so with all your soul and let it be reflected in your face. Show happiness, joy, and expectancy, and gratitude. 
The power and what it does is beyond understanding. Innate is infallible. Do not try to understand it, but expect the accomplishment with thankfulness, happiness, and strengthened faith. Now there is one caution. It is possible to obtain that which will make you miserable, that which will wreck the happiness of others, that which will cause sickness and death, that which will rob you of eternal life. You can have what you want, but you must take all that goes with it. So in planning your wants, plan that which you are sure will give to you and your fellow man the greatest good here on earth thus paving the way to that future hope beyond the pale of human understanding. This method of securing what you want applies to everything you are capable of desiring and the scope being so great, it is suggested that your first list consists of only those things which you are quite familiar, such as an amount of money or, or an accomplishment or a new clinic or a larger quarters or more daily traffic in patients, or the possession of mere material things. Such desires as these are more easily and quickly obtained than the discontinuance of fixed assets, than the discontinuance of fixed habits, the welfare of others, and the healing of mental and bodily ills. Accomplish the lesser things first, then take the next step. And when that is accomplished, you will seek the higher and really important objectives in life. But long before you reach this stage of your progress, many worthwhile desires will find their place on your list. One will be to help others as you have been helped. Great is the reward to those who help and give without thought of self, as it is impossible to be unselfish without gain. Now, Brown Baggers, in conclusion, throughout history, certain men expounding on the human solution to a better life have shown thousands of people how to help themselves. Thousands of others spoofed at the idea, refuses assistance, and are today where they were in the beginning. And it is so with the statements and plans presented to you now. You can reject or accept. You can remain as you are or you can have anything you want. The choice is yours. But God grant that you may have in this short record of the review of this wonderful little book, the inspiration to choose a right, follow the plan, and thereby obtain, as so many others have, all things, whatever they may be, that you desire. Now, Brown Beggars listened to the entire record over and over again and again and then again. Read the booklet frequently. You simply cannot get too much of this. This is the thing that really brings about ultimate success. It's not the gimmicks, gadgets, nor geography that brings about final, complete, healthy, happy referral practice in any community. It's not the geography, nor necessarily the technique applied. It is the consciousness, the awareness, the practice consciousness, healing consciousness, practice awareness, healing awareness, practice power, healing power, the concept of these things that finally and ultimately bring about complete success. It is your personality. Memorize the three simple rules of accomplishment. Write them down. Write down what you want. Follow the advice herein. Test them. Test them right now on what you want. This minute. 
Now this record, like the little book, could have extended easily over five or six or seven hours, but it has been deliberately shortened to make it easy as possible for you to understand and use. Will you try it, brown baggers? Thousands of bettered lives will testify to the fact that it works and will testify that this is how to get what you want without fail.